Okay, so for the letter L, Mrs. Small is going to read a book called The L Little Island. This is a blue ribbon book and it's written by Golden McDonald and Leonard Weisgard. And it's about a little island. I want to pretend that it's in Maine where you get to see it go through the four seasons. Here we go. And the pictures are so beautiful. It's my favorite part. So here is The Little Island by Golden McDonald with illustrations by Leonard Weisgard. I hope I said their names right. Okay, so Mrs. Small's gonna turn the page so that you see the picture. And I read the words. There was a little island in the ocean. Around it the winds blew. And the birds flew, and the tides rose and fell on the shore. Clouds passed over it, fish swam around it, and the fog came in from the sea and hid the little island in a soft, wet sh shadow. The morning was very quiet on the island, with only the spiders sailing their webs against the gentle breeze. Small flowers, white and blue and violet with violets with golden eyes, and little waxy white pink chuckleberry blossoms, and one tickly smelling pear tree bloomed on the island, and it was spring. Then one day the lobsters crawled in from the sea and hid under rocks and ledges of the island to shed their shells and let their new ones grow strong and hard in the hiding places in the dark. And the seals came back barking down from the north to lie on the sunny rocks and raise their baby seals. And spring is when a lot of baby animals are born. And the kingfishers came from the south to build nests. Remember how birds migrate in the winter? In spring, they all come home. And the gulls lay their eggs on the rocky ledges. And wild strawberries turn red. Summer had come to the little island. Boats sailed to the little island from far away, and herring and mackerel leaped out of the water, all silver in the moonlight. The seaweed squeaked at low tide, and little green pears grew on the pear tree. A black crow flew over. Summer in the island. And a little kitten came to the island with some people on a picnic. The kitten prowled around the island and saw that it was surrounded by water. What a little island, said the kitten. This little island is, a little, is as little as big is big. you said the island maybe i'm a little island too said the kitten a little fur island in the air and he left the ground and jumped in the air that is just what you are said the little island but i am part of this big world said the little kitten my feet are on it so am i said the little island no you're not, said the kitten. The water is all around you and it cuts you off from the land. You ask any fish, said the island. So the kitten caught a fish. Answer me this or I'll eat you up, said the kitten. How is an island part of the land? Come with me, said the fish. Down into the dark secret, secret places of the sea I will show you. I can't swim, said the cat. Show me another way or I'll eat you up. Then you must just take it on faith, what I tell you, said the fish. What's that, said the cat? Faith, to believe what I tell you about what you don't know, said the fish. That is what faith is. And the fish told the kitten how all the land is one land under the sea. The cat's eyes were shining with the secret of it. And because he loved secrets, he believed and he let the fish go. And he got on his boat and sailed away into the setting sun. The little island, little 
had a little woods on it with seven big trees in it and 17 small bushes and one big rock. Birds came to the woods on the island. The butterflies and moths flew over the ocean till they got there. Night came to the little island, stark and still, and seven little fireflies flashed in the darkness. A bat flew around and around the pear tree and woke up the owl. The whistling wind whistled. Then a storm came. The wind blew from the southeast. Waves as big as glassy mountains came before it, and lightning and thunder, and always the howling and moaning and whistling wind. Then the storm passed and, a little, and left the little island where it found it in the summer sea. Autumn came, that's another word for fall, and the yellow pears dropped slowly to the ground. Winter came and snow fell softly like a great, like a great quiet secret in the night, cold and still. Nights and days came and passed in summer and winter and the sun and the wind and the rain. And it was good to be a little island, a part of the world and the world of its own, all surrounded by the bright blue sea. So preschoolers, just like everything else, this little island got to have four seasons. It had spring, and then it had um, summer where all the things and fruits changed, and then there was fall, and then winter. So what I'd like to do for this activity is, if you finish listening to me read the story, I want you to draw me four trees. Maybe mom and dad can help you and draw a tree, and then I want you to show me what the trees look like in each of the four seasons. Mrs. Small will show you. So maybe you draw a tree for winter and you cover it in cotton balls or white paint to show me winter, because that's when the trees, right? And then after winter is what? Spring. And most trees, like apple trees and other trees, they, they have flowers on them. So you can paint it or color it pink or white or you can draw little flowers on it or tiny little green buds. This is an apple tree. And then in summer, all the leaves turn really, really green on the trees. And if it's a fruit tree, like an apple tree, that's when all the fruit starts to grow. And then you can make me a fall tree. And in the fall, apples are really big and they're ready to be picked or some trees change colors, right? Their leaves turn orange or yellow or red. So I want you to draw me those things. So preschoolers, just like the little island, I want you to show me something that goes through the four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. All right, get busy.